hundred percent. You can't help it. And when people see the movie and fans have been responding to the movie, uh, and especially those who know Los Angeles and all the iconic buildings that we have in Los Angeles and San Francisco too. You know, you look at them in a different way. You appreciate them so much more, but to watch them uh, and then the impact of the earthquake and what it does, yeah, you look at them different. Well, you know, I'd spent time with the LAFD prior to the role, and now after the movie's come out, uh, we want to do arrive in style and arrive respectfully and, and, and pay homage and honor to um, the first responders in the LAFD who I really had truly an honor. We've talked about this, who I've had the tr truly an honor uh, playing. And, and prior to coming to the premiere, um, this afternoon, I was there at the fire station 27, hung out with the boys, they cooked for me. For me, a movie that is a spectacle and that is a ride is something exquisite and I love to go see that and have a blast, it's a popcorn movie and all those things, um, and get scared in a controlled environment and then be able to walk out and everything's okay. Well, it's funny, the word epic does seem to come up a lot with this movie for those reasons, which is that the, uh, you know, the scope in which we were working was very large, but Brad Payton really kept us very much, it was constantly about stripping down and, and finding the, the genuine emotion in, in, in the midst of the spectacle. And uh, I think we really did succeed at that, and I was, I'm very appreciative that he really, he stayed true to that the entire film. Well, it's a gigantic movie. It's visually beautiful. It's um, a wonderful story. I cried like five times and I'm in the movie. And it's just really fun. It'll get your adrenaline pumping and it's a really, really fun, beautiful movie. It's really fun, but I enjoy I enjoy the um, challenges that I'm faced when I w work on a film like this. So it is extremely challenging and it's a lot of hard work, but it's what I love to do. So it makes it fun, even when you're exhausted and, in my case, soaking wet a lot of the time. And, you know, it, it's very rewarding. It's an action-adventure film, it's got the rock, it's about earthquakes, I think, you know, disaster films, people are always intrigued by them because they don't fully understand them, so I think it just seems to have all the right ingredients. So. I play Serena Johnson, she's a TV journalist, and um, she ends up with Paul Giamatti's character, who plays a seismologist, in the midst of an earthquake, um, and so the two of them together end up covering, like, the biggest story of their career. We worked very hard, uh, but we had such a good group of actors and such a lovely team and crew, um, and we were in Australia, so it was a very, very special film. If you speak to most of the cast, they'll tell you like we really had a lot of fun. Most actors go to their room while uh, they're setting up uh, on this. Very rarely did actors go to their room. They were always out on set having a lot of fun. It was an amazing experience. He's the nicest man in Hollywood, so it made working every day just a real pleasure. Uh, and then my stepdaughter, played by the wonderful Alex Daddario, so that was really hard work going to work in the morning to do that. Um, and we were in Australia for six weeks shooting the film, so it was uh, one of those moments in time where you'll never forget. My number one priority with the movie was to get great performances. I knew I had a lot of visual effects. I knew I was going to have the spectacle, but the thing I really, really wanted was the emotion, was the intimate moment, so that you were investing in characters, you were following their character, you had the, the story could have heart, you know? So I, I had this saying with the crew, which was, let's build the ride to put the actors on it. Let's not get in their way. This is going to be so technical. So I really just focus on getting it as much in camera, as much of their real reactions. And so that was my number one priority. And that's probably what I'm most proud of. Of the fact that Dwayne gives a hell of a performance. I mean, it was, it was amazing to craft a hero that he'd never played before, you know, a blue collar guy, uh, a first responder, but have gone through trauma. To dig in with all the cast and make those characters three-dimensional, real, all the moments feel real. It just makes for a really rewarding movie experience.
Watch you, 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 watch you